Well, in this video, I'm moving on to 1440p, and I'm going to start off with the Epic preset at native resolution. And from there, I'm going to go on to high and medium presets at the different temporal se uh, super resolution settings. And starting off, I do have to say that the new Nanite rendering, illumination, and shadowing in Unreal Engine 5 looks fantastic. Here I am a few minutes into the game and as you can tell we're struggling to hit an average of 30 FPS in 1440p. This is probably the only game that I can think of that I've played that uh, I've had any kind of struggle coming close to 60 FPS at uh, the highest settings. So you can tell right off the bat that Unreal Engine 5 is definitely a uh, more demanding engine versus what's been used before. Now if you find this video helpful or informative, please uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below and let me know what what would you like or what do you like to see in these sorts of videos. So moving on, we're going to drop the temporal super resolution down to quality and see what sort of uh, FPS we're going to get here. And I'll reset the counter here in a second. And much better. We're getting near a average of 60 FPS. Uh, meanwhile, we are just kind of running around here out uh, outside the the city. I was trying to get a place where there would probably be fewer people so I could easily get through the different settings without having to die and start a new game every every five minutes. Even at these settings everything still looks pretty good. I had a hard time noticing any drop really in quality as you're moving around going from native down to quality. Oddly enough, this is the second time trying to record this video. The first time I tried doing it the other day, it was late at night and got about an hour into recording all the different uh, videos just because I died multiple times. But for some reason, the adrenaline software decided to crash on me and I lost the entire recording. So this is take two. So this is a new game where I had to run the temporal super resolution on balanced. Uh, just to kind of confirm what I was seeing or dispel what I was seeing because when I was in the game before this I went from quality to balance and there was absolutely no change in the average FPS but and that was, it was hitting around 60 and as you can see here we're at 65 66 FPS so we actually did gain uh, a little bit uh, and I wouldn't expect too much just because if you look at the resolution scaling, it went from, I think, 66 to 60, so the resolution scaling just went down a bit, and the FPS went up slightly, so not a huge a huge game, but I would have expected at least some, some game, and you can see that here. So this piece is not really going to flow with the rest of the video because it's just been pasted in uh, the middle of what I was doing because I just kept on going with the remaining video and then uh, came back, ran this, and then I re-ran performance uh, just to make sure that we are seeing seeing a change. So I'm assuming you know, if you notice that while you're playing around with it yourself, you might just have to go out of the game and then go back into it to uh, get that, uh, get the change in the settings to take hold. So we're starting a new game and we're going to drop the full super resolution down to performance and this is going to drop the resolution from 60% down to 50% and doing that we would expect some kind of bump in the average FPS and here we are about five minutes into a game possibly more and we're sitting around an average of 77 so we actually did get a pretty good bump it went up around 11 so I'd say that's almost yeah that would be almost probably around 17 18 percent so that's pretty good uh, 77 that's a that's a smooth uh, average FPS it's definitely not going to be 
for competitive play, but that's pretty good in my books. Anyway, so this is the end of the part I had to do outside of the regular video, just to make sure that those settings did take hold. But like I said, during the game, they didn't. But now that I've restarted and played separate games, they actually did. All right, and now we're going to move on and drop the quality presets down to high and move the temporal super resolution back up to native and see where we start out here. Now we're a few minutes into uh, playing at this resolution and we're averaging around mid 50s for an average FPS, which we're, we're getting to that, you know, 60 FPS sweet spot, but still nothing near the. Uh, competitive gaming kind of FPS that you'd expect uh, for a high refresh rate monitor so hopefully by the end of this we get to a much better uh, frame rate. Let's bump the resolution down a little bit again to quality. Go, goes from 100% resolution down to 66% and a few minutes into this game we're averaging the high 80s, which is pretty good. We're seeing a much larger uh, uptick in, in performance compared to when we were on the Epic settings as we moved down the resolution. Again, for a lot of this, I'm trying to avoid a little bit of conflict, just so we can get through the different um, the different scalings in each game. Okay, dropping this down to balanced. Let's get into the game and fast forward a little bit and see what. Uh... Well, there's a little bit of a change. We went from the high 80s up to the high 90s, and I died. Not surprising. Shot in the back. Well, we're starting a new game and we're going to start this game off on performance and jump right into it. So, moving from balance to performance, we're seeing actually quite a big jump. It's going from high 90s up to about a 120 FPS. This is just the drop in screen, so let's fast forward to on the ground and see if there's much chain. So, I've been running around the castle for a few minutes now, and it seems to be settling in around 115 average FPS, which we're getting, it's getting much better. Still, quite a quite an uptick in FPS going from balance to performance compared to going from like native to quality or quality to balance. Oh, time to move down the presets. We're going to go from high to medium and we're going to put the resolution all the way back up to native. And as you can tell, most of the uh, presets move down to medium along with it. Here we are a few minutes in and we're averaging about 80 FPS, which is a big uptick over 30 FPS on the epic settings. Since I've been looking at, you know, adjusting this little by little, I haven't noticed any drastic change in quality of, of the game, like as far as the picture goes, resolution, shadowing, and all that. But I'm pretty sure if you were to take, go right from epic and native to medium and native, you would notice the difference. Well, surprise, surprise, I died. So we're going to jump into a new game and drop the resolution down to quality and jump right in there. At this point, we're several minutes into the game and we're settling in at around 130 average FPS with surprisingly high 1% lows at 97. So we're definitely getting much higher average FPS rates at the medium settings. Well, we're almost through the medium settings. We're going to drop it down to balanced. 
At this point, we're about five minutes into balance and we're averaging 142 FPS with 97 as the 1% low. Um, similar to the other times when we've gone from quality to balance, there's not much of a change. We've only gained about 10 FPS. And going to the last resolution setting on medium preset, we'll hit performance. Again, I'm about five minutes in and we're averaging 157 FPS with a 1% low of 104. So medium uh, settings, performance resolution, we're getting quite high FPS at this point at 1440p. Uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, with this resolution, or not resolution, I'm pretty happy with this FPS. The only thing I would be curious in, and I need to compare, is at what point is the trade-off worth it? Would I rather have 1080p with a higher preset, or would I rather have 1440p with a lower preset and with the resolution scaler dropped uh, down on performance and I think I saw it said 50% so I'd be curious to see what the difference in picture quality would be well not only picture quality but also the shadowing and light reflection anyway if you have any comments or questions please leave them down below thanks